Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Basic Graph of the Sine Function. Y equals A, the sine of B, X plus C plus T. Concept number three, the absolute value of B, frequency. Now, the odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. What we're doing here is so effective. I'm coaching you to turn your wants and desires of getting an A or perfect test score into a new paradigm, okay? I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2. If I could stick every math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. You have lots of peers, classmates, and colleagues who could really benefit from this cram session as well. So be sure to spread the word to them and tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com in order to order this complete cram session. Okay? Once they have the same knowledge as you, they'll make great study buddies. The concept of cramming also gets like a bad rap. Many people have um, neg negative connotations that they associate with the word cram, but what people are actually thinking of is hurrying, which is a result of their end is consequently destructive. We're not hurrying here, we're cramming, there's a difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons and tons of unorganized information into your mental, spiritual DNA over a tiny amount of elapsed time, Whereas cramming is taking quantum leaps in your understanding in an organized way in what seems to happen over a moment's instant, okay? So let's delve into the concept of the frequency of the sine graph. Transformations of trigonometric graphs. This is the general graph of y is equivalent to a, the sine of b, x plus c, plus C. Define and explain how to calculate the absolute value of B, the frequency, specifically the frequency of the sine graph, as well as, yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment to think. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, so um, the absolute value of B, the frequency, is the number of complete cycles, okay, um, over the interval from 0 to 2 pi radians, or you could say 0 to 360 degrees, okay? So in order to calculate the absolute value of B, the frequency, we have to find the period first. And I want you to recall that period basically is the length of one complete cycle um, of the graph. So here goes one complete cycle. We've experienced a horizontal shift to the um, left, okay? Well, to the right, actually. So yeah, here goes one complete cycle. And we can see that the frequency is contained within the period. And okay, the reason why we're calculating the frequency over the interval um, from zero degrees to two pi radians or zero radians to two pi radians, which is not depicted here on the um, horizontal or x axis, is for this reason. First of all, you have to remember where the original function sine comes from. Here you have an acute angle in quadrant one in standard position, the initial side ray is on the positive x-axis, and the terminal side ray terminates somewhere in quadrant one, okay? So we're gonna call this angle theta, although it's referred to as x in our original problem. So you have to recall that the sine of theta is going to be the y-coordinate, divided by the longest side of the triangle or formation or the hypotenuse 
or the terminal side ring of the angle, okay? And um, there's going to be a sine of theta value for every angle within the Cartesian coordinate plane from zero to 360 degrees or from the initial angle of zero um, to two pi radians, okay? That's why we're calculating um, from the sign from zero, which is not shown here, to two pi radians or 360 degrees. So this graph is generated from taking the angles, letting that be our independent variable, and the y values are going to represent the actual sign values, the y over r values, okay? So that's why we're calculating frequency on the interval from zero to two pi radians. Oh yeah, and just in case um, you forgot, the conversion factor between radians and degrees is every 180 degrees is represented by pi. Sorry for the lag time. I apologize for this like all the time. I'm gonna, you know, upgrade my stylus situation. Okay, yeah. And here, 180 degrees would be the extent of the quadrantal angle for quadrant two. All right. Okay, let's get back on track. So basically, we would have to manipulate this function in order to find the frequency. All we have to do is know the period, and 2 pi is already a given part of the equation. And so when we interchange frequency and period, we get that 2 pi divided by the period is equivalent to the frequency or the absolute value of b, okay? So that's how you would calculate the frequency. And again, the definition is the number of complete cycles. So this is one cycle, a period is one cycle, that is on the interval from zero radians to two pi radians, or zero degrees to 360 degrees. All right, okay. So you can see that intellectual comprehension of this material is not difficult. After the short amount of time it takes to complete this entire cram session, you'll be prepared to answer a battery of questions in Algebra 2, okay? So again, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. Thanks for tuning in.